Hi, Curtis White, just after the Elite Men's Race, I think just outside the top 20, uh, how was it out there today? Fast, real fast. Um, had a okay start. Uh, got a little pinched in the first corner, but I uh, was able to move up, get into a good group. I um, think I reeled the first couple laps a little too hard, uh, so I had to sit up, recover, and wait for the next group, and uh, kind of rode that group back up to where I was before, so I uh, felt like I rode a smart race. Um, the last lap, I believe I was fighting for 18th in that group, 17th or 18th, and uh, I, I started my sprint a little too early, uh, probably about a half lap to go. I felt like I was railing the first um, couple hills. Um, I was riding them well, but it was just too early in the lap, and then, uh, yeah, three guys came around me in the last 30 seconds, and uh, that was a sprint. You were with the chase group, I think. Like, it might have been like the second chase group or something early on. Do you think the experience you've been getting from these Euro races is, uh, are you racing smarter now? Absolutely. Um, the flow of these races is a lot different than in the U.S., obviously. Um, so it's, I mean, it's 10 races or so over here. The learning curve's been steep, so I, I mean, I, I've learned a lot and I've been able to race well. And it was my first season coming over here as elite, really, I've been mean, coming here for junior and under 23 years, but first season as an elite, 10 races, the learning curve's been real steep, so I felt like I've... I'm coming away with a lot. Um, I, you know, I'm eager to come back and learn more and <laughs> keep improving. This race kind of had, there were those long straights. Uh, we've seen road tactics in some of the women's races. Do you think your background with road helped you here today? I think it did, yeah. Just uh, just being smarter and kind of being patient in the groups, like knowing when to sit in the group. And I mean, I, I'll say that I probably did a little bit too much work. Um, I mean, it's, you know, I'm, I'm higher up than I have been in previous races, and I'm excited. I'm, hungry I want to be doing better I'm fighting for a top 20 spot and, uh, and sometimes I found myself in the top 15 so I mean it was a uh, it was an easy race to get ahead of myself and I guess but uh you know, I'm happy with today and uh happy with the season really so it's a good way to finish it off I don't want to call it a breakout season because you've been Curtis White for so long but like you've really stepped to a next level on the elite level this year are you happy with the season that you had I am yeah um this is Really, the first year that I felt like I've been consistent. Um, previous years, I've had a few good results, but I, the consistency wasn't there. So to be able to perform weekend after weekend you know, through the whole season and show a good progression is uh, something that I think previous years lacked. So I'm very happy with the year, uh, coming away with a lot of great rides and results. So I'm happy, and uh, there's there's a lot of motivation for uh, next season. You know, I'm, I don't think you know. Mentally, I don't really want to take a break, but uh, it's kind of necessary at this point. So it's rest up and gear up for next year. You're going to be wearing that Continental kit. Dudes are going to be gunning for you, man. You ready for it? I'm going to be gunning for them. <laughs> well, you still got to knock off Hyde. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, we'll get so, there. All right, cool. Well, congratulations, Curtis. Great race, great season. Look forward to seeing you next year. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks.